you know, when life gets tough, running's always there as a resource to kind of put everything into perspective. I'm from the West Coast originally. I I'm a big time runner. I'm running the New York City Marathon here in two weeks, but it's a big deal because I live with type 1 diabetes. It's not easy to live with. I've had type 1 since I was 17. And so I'm going to New York where my family's from and I'm going to be running a marathon kind of in honor of my grandfather who um, also had type 1 diabetes. I was a, a runner in high school and then I rode in college back east in Philadelphia. I thought running looked like a great sport because you can really earn your way in running. It's not like you have to be chosen for the team. You just run your time and then um, people can see your, what your time is and it speaks for itself. So when you're in a race, you just have to be all involved in there and um, leave everything on the line. In a sense, I kind of like that pressure that you have to put in all this work to get something back. But I also just love when you're in that racing moment, when you're so in the zone and you finally get to perform after doing all that preparation. I had gotten kind of sick for a series of months. I just hadn't felt right. So we went in and uh, my blood sugar was actually in a range that was kind of worrisome for possibly being like in a coma. I went into the hospital, they basically diagnosed me with type 1 diabetes within five minutes of arriving and I was sent off to the ICU. I think the first thing that ran through my head was just I had known my grandfather has type 1 or he had type 1 and so I automatically thought of him because I had watched him do injections as a kid but then also a little bit fearful just because you realize like wow this is like I'd watched my grandfather have this for years, I was going to have this for years in my whole life. It was a little bit um, daunting, I'd say, at first. My next kind of biggest thing was, okay, well, I have this disease and, now, and I want to keep doing everything that I was doing, so now I just have to figure out how to do it all. And for the most part, my doctors and providers were like, well, you're just going to kind of have to figure it out on your own. I just did a lot of research um, and then just trial and error. I hope to continue working with and for people who have diabetes. I want to help empower people and um, encourage them. So the New York City Marathon, it's 26.2 miles. It'll be my first marathon race. I'm also running in honor of my grandfather at Type 1 and he helped build the Twin Towers in New York City and, and grew up um, in Queens. So it's really special to me because he passed away this past May that I'll get to think about him as I'm racing this course. I think a marathon is a distance that can be ambitious to anyone but I'd say with this marathon like I'm running with this organization called called Beyond Type 1. It's a nonprofit, and they're all about empowering type 1 diabetics. You don't have to have this just be your life and you can do challenging things like go do the marathon. I think I would tell the type 1 diabetes community just not to be afraid and that you can do whatever you, you want. Just sometimes you have to have a little extra preparation and a little more effort than people who don't have this disease but it doesn't have to limit you.